Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jackie and today I'm here to do a Freddy Reads video. So Freddy Reads is a weekly wrap up of everything you have read in the past week and I've seen this going around on booktube for quite a while now and I figured why not start doing this? Why not start doing these myself? And I've always wanted to do these, I just have not had the time. I also have an exciting announcement at the end of this video so be sure to stay tuned for that. So like I said, this is just a weekly wrap up of everything I've read since Monday, so Monday through Friday. For this week, next week will be from today, which is Friday the 21st of July, to next Friday. So be sure to look out for future Friday Reads videos. So I'm going to jump right in and get started. So I'm going to talk about the books I have read this past week first, and then I'm going to join in or jump into the books I'm currently reading, and then as well as the books I read, plan on reading next. So the first book I read this week was Vital Spark and this is by Leah Devlin. This book was sent to me for a read by the author so thank you so much to her for sending me this. This is a young adult historical fiction novel with a hint of mystery involved in it. It follows our main character Alex and she has been working as a professor in Washington DC and she gets a job offer in her hometown of River Glen, Maryland. She decides to take it so one day she decides after she accepts the job offer she decides to move back to her hometown and surprise her grandfather with the exciting news about her new job. When she arrives in her hometown, however, she discovers her grandfather has been murdered. So it takes off from there and it is, wasn't my favorite book. I'll be honest, it was not my favorite book, um, but I can definitely see the appeal around this book because I, I know a lot of people on Goodreads really have really enjoyed this book. It just was not for me. I've been trying to get into historical fiction and uh you know mystery thriller for about a year now just those two genres personally aren't my favorites but i can like i said i can totally see the appeal around this book and this is the first book in a series and this series is called the chesapeake tugboat murder series i actually do plan on continuing on with the series because i definitely can see um if it i want to see if it takes off from here from the end of this book and i can definitely see it doing so so I hopefully will check out the next book when it comes out and I'll let you guys know kind of my updates around this. And I ended up giving this book a 2.5 out of 5 stars. The only other book I read this week was actually an audio book and that book is City of Bones and this is by Cassandra Clare. This is a book one in the Mortal Instruments series which is a very very popular series for her on booktube. And I finally decided to check this book out and I actually really, really enjoyed it. I think it was very, very good. It's a YA paranormal series. I'm sure you guys have all heard of it, but if you aren't familiar with it, it follows the main character, Clary, and one day she finds out that she is a shadow hunter, which means she is meant to hunt demons. And it's very, very good. Like I said, I can definitely see the appeal around this and why it's so hyped up here on booktube. I know there's also a TV series that has... Uh, been on TV for a year or two now. I've seen that on TV. I really actually really wanted to check it out because it looks fantastic. But I decided I wanted to read the books first and I'm so glad I did and I really enjoyed this. So I gave this a four out of five stars. So that is everything I read this past week. Now I'm going to jump into the books I am currently reading. So the first book I have to talk about is called The Truth About Love and this is by Anna Bloom. I'm reading this on my Kindle and this was sent to me for review by the author. So thank you so much to her for sending me this. This is a YA contemporary novel. This is book and another book, the first book in the series. Um, like I said, YA contemporary, very fluffy, good for summer and it definitely sounded like something went I can't really go into a full-on explanation as of right now, but hopefully I'll have one by next week uh, if I finish it in time or and it'll be my wrap-up for the month. So I am not very far into it. I'm only about 5% in, but I'm enjoying it so far, so I'll keep you guys posted on that. The next book I'm currently reading is called, well, this is a continuation on with a series, and that is Save the Ashes. This is book two in the Mortal Instruments series by Cassandra Clare. Again, if you... It's just a YA paranormal series continuation of Mortal Instruments. Liking it so far, I'm not very far into this one either, but so far so good. And the last book I'm currently reading right now is called The Disappearances and this is by Emily Bain Murphy. This is a Perusi Topia Book Club Book of the Month for the month of July. And this is a magical realism, YA magical re realism book with a hint of mystery. Follows the main character, her name is Aliyah, I believe. I could be saying that name wrong, but she... Uh, her mother has grown up in this very small town in Connecticut and one day her mother dies and she and her brother move from their hometown to there and there they discover they move in with a family friend and they discover that the town has been having these disappearances for quite a while now and they try to figure out what are these disappearances all about. Um, I'm looking at so far I'm about 150 pages in so I'm about halfway done. So far so good. Definitely 
in, very invested in this book and I'm really excited to tell you guys more about it once I finished it. So that's everything I'm currently writing and now we're going to into the books I plan on reading next. So the first book is another audiobook and that is City of Glass, book three in the Moral Instruments series. Again, book three. Really excited to see where the series goes. And the other book I plan on reading next kind of goes into next week, which is book two bathon And that book is uh, Truth Wishes by Susan Dennard. This is a YA fantasy series that follows uh, two best friends. They're both witches. One is a truth witch, which is a very rare and sought after witch. And the other is a red witch, which means that she can see the connections between people. So I've seen this book going around with book two for quite a while now since it uh, came out, I think last year. I could be wrong on that. Um, but I know the second book in the series just came out and uh, this actually captured my attention right when it came out and, and all the hype was going around 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 about this. So I'm very excited to dive into it. So the now we're going to get into the exciting announcement which kind of goes along with Booktubeathon. And if you guys have seen my TBR video for Booktubeathon, which I'll link down below, you know I am planning on vlogging on next week. So I think I'm going to do one entire vlog. but I or if you guys would like to me to do uh, separate vlogs for each individual day, let me know in the comments down below. But I do plan on vlogging. I've always wanted to vlog and I figured now would be the perfect time. And I was going to vlog for Emojithon, which was last month. Didn't get the chance to, but uh, I figured it would be fun to do it next month, week. So be on the lookout for future vlogs. And that's everything I have this for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give a big thumbs up and hit subscribe if you have not already. I'll be sure to have all my social media links linked down below. If you guys would like to check me out on my Twitter, Instagram, Goodreads, or my blog, they are all linked down below as always. And I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I will see you soon for another video. Thanks for watching. Bye.